Hello and welcome. This is Exposed Teeth Holistic Dentistry Show. I'm Dr. Rachel and we're going live. Thank you so much for joining me and if you're watching the replay that's awesome. I'm going to give you some facts and information. I want to help empower you to make healthier choices. So my name is Dr. Rachel Hall. I'm the founder and principal dentist at Evolve Dental Healing in Kenmore in Brisbane. I'm a holistic dentist and I've been working that way for nearly 18 years. I have 26 years experience and it's my mission to help educate and empower people to understand more about their health and well-being and that you cannot be healthy unless you have healthy teeth and gums. So tonight, continuing in our amalgam theme, uh, mercury silver fillings, I'm going to give you seven facts about amalgam that have nothing to do with mercury. Oh, okay, maybe I'll get a tiny little bit of uh, mercury information in there for you today. So, seven facts about amalgam. I've got a few notes, so if I look away, it's because I need to refer to them. I had a big day here in the dental office. So, whether mercury amalgam fillings are safe for the body or not is an argument that's been going on ever since its inception, ever since it was invented, ever since it started being used about 200 years ago. But there are some facts about dental amalgam that simply cannot be ignored or argued against or refuted. And they're facts that may mean that when it comes to having amalgam fillings, you might want to change your mind a little bit about whether you keep them in your teeth or not, irrespective. So it means that when we as dentists come to choosing filling material, should we be using amalgam as our number one? Or should we be looking at more modern day white fillings that are more beneficial not only to your health, but to your teeth as well? Look, I want you to give me some help here. Give us some hearts, some thumbs up, do share leave your comments and I'm going to answer all your comments, uh, ask questions, tell me where you're from. Hey Val, great to see you here. Thank you very much for joining in. So should we think again about using amalgam as dentists? And let, let's take the mercury thing out of the equation and we'll get into these seven facts about amalgam fillings. So yes, fact number one, I'm going to, I'm going to get it out of the way, get the elephant out of the room. Amalgam contains 50% mercury and mercury is a heavy metal that is extremely toxic to human beings and it does leak from the fillings. There's been a lot of science to show that that's the fact. So let's get that on the table first and foremost. So I kind of told a little bit of a cheeky at the beginning there. So how do amalgam fillings work? Well, it's a mixture of silver, tin, copper, zinc and other metals and 50% mercury. When you mix that together, it's kind of a semi squashy material that then hardens. But <clears throat> it doesn't stick to your teeth. It's got no adhesive qualities. It doesn't bond. It doesn't glue. It doesn't interlock. So when we're drilling a tooth, if we're going to place an amalgam, not that we do here at Evolve because we're a mercury free and a mercury safe practice, you have to remove large amounts of tooth structure. So as you, if you just drilled straight down, the filling would fall back out because nothing's holding it in. Or if it's wider at the top than it is on the bottom, it's just going to fall straight back out. So you have to drill this way. So as you go deeper, you go out wider, and this creates this wedge shape that stops the filling actually coming up out of the tooth. So you get the amalgam compound and you wedge it inside, and what happens is it's wedged in. Now, because of the shape of the drilling, this can cause microscopic hairline cracking and it weakens the internal structure of the tooth. Now that, having cracks in your tooth, kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting a filling in because it opens up gaps and that allows um, bacteria and other infectious agents to get inside your tooth. It allows toxins to get in and that can cause damage and decay and then further treatment needs to be done. So this wedging, this is fact number three, it distorts and weakens the tooth so that eventually cracks in the tooth structure, proper cracks, big cracks that you can see, these cracks start to form and appear. A bit like in the cartoons when they run to the edge of the, the cliff and then all of a sudden it goes and they fall down. Well, it doesn't happen that fast, but over time you get this crack that travels through your tooth and it can start breaking sections away or it can make the tooth fracture away or split 
And if it splits, you can't save it. If it fractures badly, it's going to be expensive to fix it. So fact number four. The amalgam itself can actually fracture and crack. It can start to leak, which means it gaps around the edges and starts to corrode and age and break down and fail. It can even fall out over time due to the lack of it being sticky, that it doesn't adhere or have any adhesion to your tooth. Fact number five, amalgam is silver colored. It's gray and it tends to discolour and tarnish your teeth over time and it causes cosmetic problems and what happens is the metals in the filling you know inside your tooth it's made up of all these little tubes a bit like if you looked at a honeycomb and these tubes are, are empty and they, it carries liquid um, what's called dentinal fluid and what happens is the metals from the amalgam actually spread into those tubes and it causes graying and discoloration of your tooth so even when you replace the filling the tooth still can look quite dark and you know that, that's going to cause cosmetic concern particularly in this sort of region where they're showing your smile line and on photographs now fact number six looks like we're going to crack through these pretty quickly tonight unless you've got any questions and you want me to answer them live on air I mean take the opportunity um, metal based fillings Sorry, fact number six, we'll just backtrack, I'm getting excited. Mercury fillings are actually softer than your normal tooth structure. And at many times they don't hold up so well under biting and chewing forces that get placed on the tooth. They don't distribute the load of those forces very well. They don't spread it equally through the tooth and then down into the support bone. So when you bite on that filling, it actually gives and you get this kind of movement going on in the filling which is then causing that kind of movement in your tooth and that can cause more cracking and splitting also your, your tooth is sitting here in your jawbone and when you bite on it it's designed to go up and down like that there's like a little shock absorber between the, the the tooth and the bone and that distributes the forces equally now if the forces are going sideways then that's rocking the tooth in the jawbone and just like if you've got a fence post in the ground and you knock it from side to side it's going to loosen up the soil around the tooth and that can start leading to bone damage around the tooth and receding gums and acceleration of gum disease not a good situation so I've actually got an extra spare fact for you because something's just popped to mind which I hadn't noted down earlier today so watch out for that in a moment so number seven metal based fillings and any metal restorations like crowns or you know the gold fillings that go in your teeth they actually cause a battery effect so they're exposed to acidic saliva and you've got dissimilar metals and so that creates an electrical current between them and that's how we make batteries now those currents can, can actually be measured um, and they're caused by the different metals combining with the saliva and that's been detected and documented and this indicates a, a serious problem because these electrical currents whilst they're quite minute are actually bigger than the currents that are sent through your nerves and your central nervous system and that can cause problems with the way those electrical currents are interfering with you, your nerves and your brain so you imagine here's your teeth they're about if we're doing an old money about two inches away from your brain and those electrical currents you know, imagine having 20 cell phones and a microwave strapped on your head it's a similar kind of thing for those EMFs and you want to avoid that because we're not certain what impact that has on people and it has been documented that those electrical currents can be related to kind of fuzzy thinking and short-term memory loss and brain fog and I've seen many, many, many patients where, you know, traditionally mercury is going to take a few months, even a year or more to detox out of your body. But I have patients where we do a follow up the day after we've removed some amalgams and they'll tell me I've got more energy. I'm less brain foggy. And I believe that's because the electrical currents going around their mouth have actually been reduced greatly. And that produces almost an instant effect. So fact number eight, which makes up for me cheating and telling you that amalgams have got mercury in, is that amalgam is a material that when it gets hot, it expands. And when it gets cold, 
it contracts and it also because it's semi-liquid it kind of flows a little bit in your tooth and so over time it starts to bulge and creep out of the cavity and then you're chewing bits off it so that you're keeping your bite even and that's giving you I'm going to use the mercury word it's giving you exposure to mercury from actually swallowing bits anyway back to the fact that it expands and contracts with hot and cold so here's your filling going like this now your tooth also expands with heat and cold and pressure however if your amalgam's going this much so you know my hands are way off the screen here your tooth's only going like that so can you imagine the pressure of your filling wanting to do this and pull in what that's doing to your tooth so you've got you bit of tooth here the fillings in the middle I should really get my whiteboard out and draw these things for you I didn't think about that and so your tooth is going like this and eventually you get a piece crack away now a lot of modern white filling materials have advantages over amalgam dentists are going to argue that they're not as hard wearing and they don't last as long look research and better materials says that that's not case that they're very very comparable white fillings interlock and adhere to your tooth structure so they actually help hold it together and that dissipates the forces more evenly it's quite a hard rigid structure also the white fillings that we use in our practice have no BPA no nasty plastics and so there's nothing leaching out but because they're made by the clever people in Germany who are just tremendous at engineering, these white fillings expand and contract the same amount as your tooth structure. So it's like they're breathing with your tooth. And that means there's less tendency for them to crack and split because the filling's expanding and contracting. So I think a lot of these things that I've talked about, these seven facts where it's not hard, it expands and contracts, it causes cracking, it leaks, um, you know, the pressure forces through the tooth, the unsightly nature of amalgam, the fact that it stains and discolors your tooth, and most importantly, if we take the mercury aspect to one side, the electrogalvanic effect, the battery effect of these fillings is causing problems with your health. Hey Michael, good to see you. Good to see so many people on tonight and I hope you're enjoying this and getting some value and I've been on a bit of a rant. If you are enjoying it, share the love, give us some thumbs up and some hearts, help us out here because the more interaction there is, the more Facebook gets this out to other people. If you've enjoyed it, comment, ask questions. I'm, I'm going to answer your comments later when I've got time after I've gone home and had dinner with my family because that's very important to me to have work-life balance. So I think these issues alone are a good reason for having your amalgam fillings replaced and replaced with less toxic, non-metallic and, I would argue, stronger materials. So if you want to address your concerns regarding your amalgam fillings, then please speak to a holistic dentist about the potential issues and about their safe amalgam removal process. Now, if you'd like to get in touch with us, we're always open to meet new people. We love getting new patients you can give us a call on 07-3720-1811 or you can private message us and myself or one of the team will get back to you as soon as we can. Have a lovely evening. Thank you for joining me live. I'm Dr. Rachel of Evolve Dental. This is my Exposed Teeth show and I'll be back not next week because I have an appointment with the Premier of Queensland. I've been invited to an event. It's pretty cool. I'll speak more about that maybe on my next Facebook Live, so I will see you in two weeks. Thank you very much, and I hope you've enjoyed the show.